Hello, everybody. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to today's super powerful session where we dive into the incredible story of on passives coming back. Today, we stand at the edge of a new chapter that we embrace the boundless potential ahead. On passives come back is a revival of our collective dreams, aspirations, and the profound impact we are set to create. Let's move forward together with renewed energy and purpose. Because of our amazing CEO's persistence and resilience, and because of his commitment with integrity, we are back. This is resurrection of purpose. This is regaining momentum. This is revival of a moment that brings hope. This is revolutionary to disruptive old fashioned business where we all are going to be uplifted. This is our unity. This is business of inclusiveness. Let's celebrate on passive coming back. We are blessed today with having so many of you precious affiliates as well as wonderful leaders to celebrate with us. We're going to start with Mike Ellis, please. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, Minu. I, I was waiting for Bob to talk. Usually he comes in, says a few words, and then and then I'm I'm thrown into the uh, into the swamp. Um, yeah, I, I, I've got a few things to share with everybody today. Um, obviously, most of the people heard what Ash had to say uh, just a day a day or so ago. Very, very powerful stuff. Uh, and I, I think it's always a good idea if you can understand the business of Unpassive. And Unpassive is a business. It is your business. And then the more you can understand what Mr. Bufar is doing, and the impact it's going to have on your life, uh, the more excited you can be about what's happening right now. So today, I, I do want to talk, talk about money. Everybody loves to talk about money, and I want to talk about wealth. And, and when you start to think about wealth, wealth is something that has to be created, okay? It doesn't come out of thin air. It, it, it has to come into... In, into the existence through commerce, through trading, through selling. Uh, and, and when you think about creating wealth, you have, to, you have to do those things. There has to be commerce there. And when you think about commerce, trade, selling, uh, it truly is a marvelous thing if you understand what it does. And if you understand that really each and every one of us, we do this every single day. And and when I think about when I think about commerce in its purest form, and this is this is and I've heard that I heard this concept this week, and I, I just absolutely loved it. I'm going to give you my best, and I want you to give you give me your best, okay? And that is commerce, that is trading, that is selling at its purest form, honest, clean, and ethical. Everybody coming to the table open, understanding what one is going to do for the other, uh, and that happens every day. And I'll give you a I'll give you a little little example of of how that works. Let's say you want someone to come in and take care of your yard, and you you bring them in and you hire them. You expect the very best from them. You expect the best that they can do for the money that you're going to pay them. And that money is your treasure. That is your that that is the fruit of your labor that, that you're using for that particular service. And it's it's just inherently understood. You're going to give me your best. I'm going to give you my best. And when you can approach commerce, when you when you can approach trading and selling in 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 that vein, all of a sudden it becomes very very noble. It's a really, really good thing to do. And this is the only way wealth can be created. Now, you can go to work for somebody and you can work for 30, 40, 50 years 
and and that's an honorable thing too, but it's not going to build wealth for you. You're going to build wealth for them. In order to build wealth for you, you have to create. Okay. And when I start to think about on passive, when I think when I start to think about the commerce that they're going to be doing, when I start to think about what they are creating, I start to think about Mr. Mufara. And and when I first came into on passive the agreement and it was unspoken this was not spoken between ash and i but the agreement was okay ash i'm going to come in i'm going to give you my best and i expect your best in return and as i think back over the last five and a half years <laughs> it's really almost funny because i i look at mr mufara and his best <laughs> And it just far exceeds anything I could even comprehend. And then I think about myself coming in and and discreetly telling Mr. Mufar, I'm going to give you my best. And my best, it wasn't very good at the time. And I can tell you that. And Marty and Dan will attest to that. It just wasn't that good. But over the, the growth of that period, my best got better. And I didn't think Ash could get any better but I was wrong. I'm still so far behind where his best is and his best continues to improve and improve and improve. And when you think about yourself coming into on passive, what does is, what is Mr. Mufara want from you? He doesn't want your money. But that, that's not what this is about. Mr. Mufara, he wants your best. He knows that you expect his best and he's committed, uh, and I forget what he says, live or die or whatever, whatever that whatever that term is. And we don't want him to die, by the way. But his best just continues to get better and better and better and better. And if you've been listening to Mr. Bufar over the last two, three, four weeks, you understand, yeah, we had a little snafu. Who cares? I don't care. What he's brought us through, where he's brought us, if you understand on passive today the talent that he has and that we that that he has taken on passive exponentially higher than it would have ever been with the old system if you understand that all of a sudden you understand that on passive is getting better and better and better where else do you want to be okay but there is a caveat there as you come into on passive and I don't care if you're if you've been in five and a half years. I don't care if you've been in a year. I don't care if you're going to be coming in as as uh, uh, Unpassive comes back up for the relaunch, and you come in and join Unpassive. I don't care when that period is. As you come back in, Mr. Mufara expects your best. And whatever you're thinking right now, you're better than that. And I'll give you a couple examples. I've been on passive five and a half years. I've seen people come in that could barely put a sentence together, literally. They would get on video and start to stammer. And this is when they're not on video, when they're when they're just talking one on one, they're they are so marvelously articulate and good. I mean, they can they can express things, and I'm going, holy man, this, this person, he's five times her, she or he is five times smarter than I am. And they get on a video and it's about, they, they just stammer and say, I've seen that. And over time, they've gotten better and better and better. And because of that, that's why the community of On Passive is so tight knit. That's why they're, 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 that's why we care so much about one another. Not only the people that come in to the webinars, but those people, those affiliates that are in On Passive. Your job in on passive right now is to start thinking about who you are and understanding you are better than you think you are. And Marty says this all the time. He tells people you need to get over that 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 little voice in the back of your head that's telling you you're no good, you'll never be anything. That's that that little voice just needs to be kicked out of there. You are better than you think you are. And it, and as I think about on passive and people coming into on passive, their initial reaction is when they hear that um, that Mr. Mufar wants you to get better, they're going, well, you know, I, I'm coming into on passive. I really don't have anything to bring. I'm not that good. Why would you even want me in on passive? 
And that's just what goes through their head. But you have to understand when you come into on passive, you come in with your treasure. As on passive relaunches and everything starts to flow, we can come in and buy products. You're coming in with your treasure. You're coming in with the fruits of your labor and you will be buying the products of on passive. Why? If you're a customer, it's terrific. It's because it's going to make your your digital transformation better. It's going to make you better online. It's going to make you it's going to make you more efficient with the things you do online. If you're an affiliate, you're coming in, you're buying the products to put them on your shelf. And and people will say, "Well, yeah, I'm doing that, but on passive is doing 90% of the work." I'm going, "Yeah, you're right. On passive is doing 90% of the work." So, what do you do? As you think about becoming better, understand Unpassive is a business. Unpassive is your business. And it's your responsibility. And this is what Mr. Mufar wants from you. He wants you to get better. He wants you to understand what your business is. He wants you to understand the products of Unpassive. He wants you to understand the structure of Unpassive as he comes out and explains it. And when you start to understand everything that's going on, it takes you to different levels. It takes you to different places. And I don't know where your talents will lead you, but I do know you have talents. And as those talents start to really, really start to, to spread their wings and, and, and flourish, all of a sudden you're going to have a role in on passive that nobody else has and nobody else can bring to the table. And I know when you hear that, you're going, well, that's not true. I, I, I'm just not that good. There are so many more people that can do it better than I can. Not that one thing, not that one talent. And that talent will come out and, and, and it can be very, very small. It doesn't have to be something spectacularly big to make a difference within on passive. And in the end, that's where Mr. Mufar wants all of us to go. He wants us to get to that place. Yeah, the money's going to come in. The commerce is going to be absolutely phenomenal, superior products at a lower price point. People will flock in by the billions, I think. I'll say hundreds of millions just to keep it level. They will flock in. And because of that, individuals will land in your organization. You will make a commission. The money's going to come in. But Mr. Mufara, he's a really, really funny dog. He really is. He doesn't think about the money. He doesn't. He thinks about you. I don't know any other CEO out there that thinks about the individuals that are coming in and participating with a the company. They, they just don't do it. They're glad you're here because they're going to make a profit off of what you do. That's not Mr. Mufara. He wants you to come in. Yeah, he wants you to take care of that bottom line. He wants you to get to the place where you're forced to be successful. And then he wants you to grow. He wants you to become better. To me, that's what on passive is. That, what's, that is what commerce is. I give you the best I have, and you give me the best that you have. And Mr. Mufara, he doesn't care if your best isn't even close to his. He doesn't care. If you're giving him his best, he'll use that in ways you can't even imagine to do the things that Unpassive is going to be doing around the world. This is really, really cool stuff. So when you start to understand on passive, when you start to understand the business of on passive, when you start to understand Ash Mufara and the commerce that we're going to be doing very, very quickly, a very, very noble phrase, commerce, trade, sell, done, honest, clean, and ethically. I don't want to be anyplace else. And I know most of the people that listen, you don't want to be anyplace else because your, your life is going to change. And Mr. Mufara, He's going to bring out the best. He really is. And you will get better. I'll turn it back over to you, Minnow. That's that's just kind of what's been on my mind the last week or so. Um, great. Wonderful. Thank you, Mike. Um, don't go anywhere. We're not done with you. <laughs> How about we go to Dan? Uh, Dan, would you speak to on passive is getting is coming back and getting started and in um uh, to align our determination and mindset and preparation if you speak to that as well. Thank you. Sure. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Thanks for having me, Manu, and uh, uh, hi, Gene. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like what, what Mike was saying. You, you know, a lot of people out there don't know uh, what their niche is. You know, they, they might think, well, I can't do this, I can't do that, but you know, what's really cool about OnPassive is that 
we are going to be provided with so many tools and a lot of them we don't even know about yet. And you're going to be able to find something that you really like and you'll find your niche and you'll be successful because of the, the tools that are on passive will provide for us. Now, yeah, I, uh, uh, you know, I've been thinking about this too yet, since yesterday. I mean, Ash surprised us yesterday with his guest appearance on, on um, Marty and Chris Live. And he just continues to impress us with uh, exciting news. And all of the messages lately from Ash have been about progress, not delays, but progress, not obstacles or challenges, but progress. And we all heard Ash about a month ago um, and telling us that we will, we have these obstacles, but we will continue to battle. And with the news that he's been giving us lately in the news, especially yesterday, it tells me that he's won the battle and we're coming back and it's going to be better than ever. I mean, that's what he told us. And we have to make the decision. We have to make the choice whether we believe that or not. And I can tell you with all my heart and soul that I do believe that. Now, he also said yesterday, you know, that we are making great progress. And he felt pumped to share the news with us. And, you know, when you look at Ash, I mean, he was pumped. I believe it. I could feel his excitement. He was pumped. And, and you know, the, the, the interesting thing about it, he was so pumped. But at the same time, he couldn't tell us everything. So he was holding back because legally and uh, the way he's planned this amazing rollout, he can't tell us everything. And I believe also that this company has been working tirelessly to get this company back up and running. And I believe that with all my heart. So uh, we all share that belief in Ash Mufara and uh, it, it progressively with Ash Mufara, it, it tends our belief in him tends to get stronger, progressively stronger every day. I'm just feeling that. I believe in what Ash is telling us and his passion and his desire and his vision. I believe that more today than I did, than I ever have, because he's so passionate about it and he's so confident and he's, he's content. He's content too, that this is the way, this is the path. So the bottom line is we're coming back, we're opening the doors and he's going to give us the next steps. And the, that next phase is going to be more secure, more protected, and exactly the way it's supposed to be. So we get excited, but to be honest with you, I can't understand the scope of where we're supposed to be. He knows it. He knows exactly where we're supposed to be. But we can only speculate because we don't know everything. I can't, you know, my little pea brain tries to think, where are we supposed to be? But when <clears throat> I don't know a fraction of all the new products that he has coming out, some that we haven't even heard of. All I can do is use my imagination. So we have to keep in mind that this comeback is with an entirely new team. That's not only light years ahead intellectually, but also in character and integrity than what we've had in the past. <clears throat> so we can all speculate how massive this vision is. But, uh, uh, and it's fun. It's fun to, to, to speculate. I mean, I talk to Mike pretty much every day and, or, or every other day. And we sit around, kick things around and kind of speculate on what we think is going to happen. But we don't know. We don't know all the details. All we know is that we are to continue to have faith and trust in this journey because it's getting more and more exciting every day. <clears throat> Especially when he talked about the fact that he, he recovered the, the source code and the data. And it, it, I don't think we all, at least I didn't, I didn't realize the tech pros do how huge that is, how unbelievable that is. And when he said, we can, we have the ability with that to build new infrastructure anywhere, anytime, any place. And how, you know, just how fascinating that's going to be. So everybody keep the faith. He says it's on time as predicted, and he has access to an, another really cool thing that we got to keep in mind and remember that he has access 24 hours a day to he has his link and he has access to everything that's going on in real time. And that that is huge. So we're going to reopen the ecosystem. We're going to get our profiles. We're going to get our teams. We're going to get the wallets. 
and uh, you know it's going to come out in the order that he says it's going to come out and it's not going to be all at once and we shouldn't worry just everybody we just shouldn't worry about the mechanics or even attempt to contact support because you aren't going to be able to <laughs> or accessing any links because they aren't going to be there so just pay attention to the updates and just relax take it easy follow every step of the way and have faith in the company. And uh, that's all I have for tonight. But, uh, you know, I, I just want everybody to be very, very positive and just keep the faith in Ash McClure because uh, he's getting better every day. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Um, so, Bob Takusi, um, if you hear everybody's story on the Shine the Light platform of all kinds of um, under all kinds of names and leaders, one thing that you, we keep hearing that when people have noticed transformational changes at individual level, at community, and they're hoping that this is going to go worldwide. Also, uh, looking at on passive coming back, it's like a redemption, uh, using those um, skepticals as a stepping stones and coming back even better and stronger. Um, also, uh, we're hoping this is to do technology and humanity to come in alignment for a better, brighter future. If you speak to those points, please. Thank you, Dan. Hello, everyone. This is your brother, Bob, from Bel Air, Maryland. It's good to be here. I am fired up. I'm fired up. I'm fired up and ready to go. Uh, the comeback, the great comeback. It is a comeback because I believe um, coming back from a potential colossal disaster. Most companies, I would say maybe about 90% of the companies out there, they would not survive what we went through. They would not survive. Mindful that this was as we as we all as we now know, this was an inside job. We had what we call an insider threat. It's something that the problem was from within. The problem why we find ourselves in the predicament that we did was from within. And that is every company's worst nightmare. Because you have people who are working within with, with bad faith. There is no, there is no tool. There is no uh, no software, no system that you can detect such a thing. So it happens to you and it takes you aback and it can destroy your entire organization. But we come today, we stand to, today at this juncture celebrating the comeback because of one man, our founder, Mr. Ash, because he has a steady hand. Remember, he's focused, he's steady and he's prepared. Yeah, he does not only have a steady hand, but he was he's always been prepared. Remember, he has always told us, have plan A, plan B, plan C. So like Mino said, let me take it a little, a slightly technical today because for us to understand why it is a comeback, where are we coming back from? And how did we get to the comeback point? How did, what happened, you know? so that we understand the massive task that has been taken before we get here. Mr. Ash told us last week or a couple of weeks ago that we have recovered our source code, like Dan said, and we have recovered our, our data. Those are the two primary things and anything else can come in any order, it doesn't matter. But once you recover that source code, and your data, it, it doesn't end in the work. The work begins from there. The work starts from there for him to come back and declare that we have we, we are now in the comeback stage. Remember, it is not, it was not a jolly turnover where everything happened as it was supposed to, to, to happen. We don't know what our line minds have been left behind by the by the bad guys. So they have to go back and Revisit this code. Millions and millions of lines of code has to be checked. So you have to do what they call we call static and dynamic analysis of the code. They look at every single line to make sure the security is intact. They scan the entire system. They scan the code. They do vulnerability scanning 
to make sure this code has not been tampered with. You know, test the system. I'm sure, I'm sure my brother colleagues will can, can attest to that. Everything that has been done up to the point of June 24, they have to go back and retest and retest, do regression testing upon testing or testing to make sure the system is operating as it was supposed to be and producing the exact result that it, it used to produce before June 24th when it went down. That is the amount of work that has been put to bear before our founder, Mr. Ash, is coming to say that we are coming back or that we have recovered the business. But it still does not end there because mindful of what has happened and with the new experts that we have, they now have to come now and look at the system again from another perspective. Is our, our, our business processes, are they aligned with our security and compliance requirements? Remember, All Passive is a global company and there are global regulations that she has to comply with. So these experts, they have to look at all that, make sure everything is in line before giving Mr. Ash a go ahead and say we are ready to go. They have to identify the risks and potential risk, but not only identify, also implement or make sure the security, there are security controls there. The data is protected. Data protection is key without impacting user experience. So you make sure people have the appropriate access right that they have without impacting their user experience of the system as the system is complex. So all these things have been have taken place. That's massive work in a short period of time that has that has been done. And then our founder comes out now and says, "We are coming back. The great comeback." Like Dan said, he says it's going to be much, much. The system is going to be much, much better, much, much secure and protected and much bigger. It's true. But he said something that I wrote down. He said, the bottom line is we are coming back. We are reopening our doors. We're going to take you to the next step, to the next steps. A comeback phase that will thrill you. He said, me, Ash, he himself by himself that he's responsible for it. That is going to be responsible for making sure this comeback is so effective such that it frees us, it excites us, all of us, every single founder. You have a good and what I would call an exhilarating experience in the process. You know? So when we reopen the doors, like Mr. Dan said, there are a few steps. When you log in, don't think that every you don't go to look for a profile. You see a profile, that's fine. Don't expect much. Do not ask much question. It's a transitional process. You know, you come in, give us the next steps. We we'll see one thing today. Maybe the next day we we'll see our user profile. The next day we we'll see our team. The next day we we'll see our wallet. Maybe in that order, in any order. So let's not panic. You know, but I was very, very, very impressed. You all. When Mr. Ash made this audacious statement towards the end of the meeting with Maria and Chris, he made what I call an audacious projection. He said, within the next, maybe within the next two to four years, this planet is going to have more, more prosperity. That's a man who is running out a company that's yet to be birthed. But his projection, he's projecting with absolute confidence that within the next two to four years, the, 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 the planet is going to be better. There's going to be much more access to health, to health and healthy lifestyles. That's what Ash is coming to the world and proposing as he walks to walk, as he opens the door to bring forth our business. He says that there's a new era of better health and education. Gone are the days of corruption and greed. It is his pledge that he's pledging to us, to everyone. And he, he ends it by telling us that he, he has the details. He has the blueprints and he has a roadmap. I want to be a friend to this man. I want to be a brother to this man. I want to be 
someone close to this man who has this tenacity, this endurance. It is worthy of celebration. It is worthy of celebration, my friends. Let us just wait for the next few days. And I'm sure the next few days are very pregnant. I believe from tomorrow or maybe later tonight, from tomorrow moving forward, Sunday, we're going to see uh, the web, the, the, when you go to allpassive.com, you go to land at the login page. Once you see that, login, play around and expect more things to, to come. That's what I have to say, Mino. Beautiful. Amazing. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Oliver, you always like to let us know that we're fine. Right? We are gaining momentum, Oliver. Um, our passive thrives on visionary leadership. Seeing possibilities where others see limitation. On passive coming back is a testament to this right? Seeing possibilities where, as Ash said, if it was any other company would be wiped off from the face of the map. So Oliver, what do you have to say on passives coming back? Thank you. Yeah. Bob. Hi, everybody. And I uh, so want to say hi to everybody, wherever you are, morning, evening, afternoon. I'm like my brother Bob said, I'm super fired up because with uh, what I heard on Friday from on Thursday from our CEO put me in that position that makes me I talk with now I talk now with some authority and I have an inner peace in me and an inner happiness in me that the journey the journey we went through that process the, the journey and uh, we were that focus and that focus that make us to have our dreams, our beliefs, that whenever I come out and I said, we are fine, is because it's like I was, seeing, I was seeing things ahead. But not only that, but being in the field, whenever he comes and talks, I analyze him <clears throat> and I go back, I will tie them with what he said before in the past and try to analyze things and seeing what he's trying to say that I knew that is going to take more than 10 years, but you know, we, we will be fine, no matter what. Because when he always comes out and said, it is going to be, it's a done deal. I knew at that point that we are in a better position and we are going to be fine. And looking to the other tech companies, how long it took them to come to, come to realization, to come to the market, we are still far more better. We are going to get into the market, you know, faster than when the, those other companies went into the market. Some of them, it took them 20 years. Go and check. It took some of those companies 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. We are less than 10 years. And with what has happened to us, the challenges that we, that we had, that we don't even know that he will come and tell us, and we are still less than 10 years, we are fine. And when I say we are fine, and look at, the, at our coming back, and when he comes and makes statements, when, when he comes and makes those statements, are you also ready? Like Michael, Michael, Michael John Chabia always say, are you ready also? Are you, where are you, where, where, where is your position now that you are now, that you are waiting? We should also know that it's a subscription-based business, and it's based on <clears throat> sales. And he has guaranteed us, based on what he told us, that the the IT engineers that they are working now for us or with for the company, they are super experts. And we can tell because each time he comes, he said he will make us understand that they were supposed to they were supposed to perform this task on this day, but he will come and say that that they deliver one day early. So we should have that positive mindset now, as from now, that we know that we are now is the is the greatest comeback that we are coming back now. We should we should involve get ourselves together with people with positive mindsets. 
associate yourself. Please, don't associate yourself because this person brought you in. You want to go and tie yourself with this person that you don't, and that this person will not make you to realize your business. This is your business. I keep saying it every day. This is your business. The 2%, the 2%, Mr. Ash is going to give us the 98%. He's, going, he's working hard day and night, sleepless night. He's not going to enjoy his family working for us. That 98%. But that 2%, if you are not focused, you will not get it. Mike, Mike, uh, Mike Ellis said to us some days back, and oh, he, 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 he keeps mentioning all the time, we are in the playing field. It is you that is going to determine how much you want to make. And is that 2%? How are you going to go about that 2%? It's you. Be engaged. Be involved. The OES is coming. Yes. When the OES come, what, what next? It is your plate. It is my plate. It is our place to make sure that every day or every day we go in two, three times a day to go to your marketplace. Go and check. We don't know how OES is going to look like now. But we know when it comes out, it is our responsibility to go in there all the time, two, three times a day, go to the marketplace, see what product is there, buy it. If it's stone, buy it. You have to leverage this business to your own business to make sure that you make as it's a level field. If you decide that you want to make how much, $500, $100, $300, it's on you. And it's because your positive mindset will put you on that position. Your positive mindset will make you to associate yourself with people who are involved. People who you learn when you people talk, talk with Bob, talk with Colin, talk with, with others. We learn from each other every day. These are, these are the people that you are supposed to get yourself involved. So you should know your business. You should know your business. Let me also go into the hand. As much as we want to make it as much as we want to follow our dreams please we should take care of our health we should not we should make sure that we are healthy go to the hospital see your pcp your primary care physician do your physicals do your lab work so that we should be healthy to be able to deliver to our community please we should take care of our health it's very, very important. It is very, very important. Thank you. It is very, it is very, very important for us to take care of to take care of our of our health. Be active. Now is the time for us to be active more than that three three thousand percent that our CEO said that he is confident that we are coming back big three thousand percent. We should also be more than that three thousand percent. Active. Ask questions. If you don't know anything, ask questions. Because now we are coming back, not only coming back, but we have coming back that we are going to have multiple streams of income. You have we, we are, the time, we have that time freedom, money that you don't, it's you to decide what you want to do. Why should you take off your health? I, I, today, I'll talk more about health, our health, our health, our health, because it's very important. Because when we are healthy, we can take off our community. If when we are healthy, we should, be, we should make sure that we have the time to go to gym. Like my brother Bobby go to gym twice a day. I don't know how, how, how he, 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 you know, he goes to gym, he'll come down, hey boy, we should go to the gym. Go, you know, I will plan and say, yes, we'll go better. I, don't go. I also, for one, I have two. Because Bob will call me, I will say yes, okay, after work. But after work, 5 p.m., I'm back, I'm tired, I'm, you know, I can't. But is it now how we're going to have that time that we'll be, we will be able to? <clears throat> the company is coming back, the OES is coming back. Now is that we are transiting to something big, better than ever before. And the CEO make us to understand that we are going to be where we were supposed to be some years back. This has to play some bell in your ear for us to understand where, where we are going. And we should celebrate every blessed moment in our life. We should celebrate every blessed moment that he came out. He came out on that Thursday. I like to drink my cognac. 
but because I had two eggs, I'm taking antibiotic. I cannot, I would have drank a bottle. We should celebrate and be happy. You know where you are happy. Your lifespan is also getting long, is longer. Be happy with ever say any the, the, the any good thing that comes out our way, we should celebrate. We should celebrate. It's also keeping our hearts, our, our soul happy and healthy. Please, please. You know, we cannot only walk. We are not happy. We don't celebrate. You know, we have multiple stream of income. How do we? How are we going to get there? It's on us. It is on us. You know, to take off, to take off our, to take off our, to take off our community. So please, uh, I will say. Now is the time that we are celebrating and is a comeback. We should be more focused. We should be more active. We should be more engaged, more involved. Associate yourself with positive people. You know, and when we are involved, we are more focused. We will be fine forever. And our community is going to enjoy us. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you so much. So, um, Collins, um, we want you to come and do your magic. Persistence usually paves the way for way uh, for every milestone, right? That reminds us to never give up, right? Um, on passive is constantly reinventing itself, adapting to changes, to changes depending on the time. And that causes, that creates a momentum to create lasting impact and to create sustainable solutions. We want you to set the stage on fire as usual, Collins. Thank you. Thank you, Mido. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for being here tonight. It's, uh, it's really great to be here. It's almost 3 o'clock, right? I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm here because I'm also fired up like my brother, Oliver and Bob. It's great. Um, one of the things I said, which um, really, every time I think about it, is um, it's about, um, what did he say? He said, we are, we are now where we we're supposed to be two years ago. We are now where we were supposed to be two years ago. That is a massive statement means all the time that they've been building this software, he has never been satisfied. That's true. He's never been satisfied with what he has been seeing. Though we are all celebrating, wow, all oh, connect, wow. But a CEO who is never satisfied because he knows what he wants. You know, and one of the things is about taking complex, you know, design and make it very simple. Sometimes a lot of what thing is unthinkable and something that cannot be achieved. But what is going on now, it means they are achieving it and the CEO is pleased about what he is seeing. And that's why he is coming out telling us, I am really pleased with what I see. They are really blowing my mind. You know, that is really great for us to hear our CEO, you know, being happy of what, you know, the, that he is realizing his dream. You know, you, know, you think about on passive. 2018, this man has a dream, a dream of creating one of the best solutions mankind have ever seen. But when you go every time, it's like you hit rock bottom and you have to try to see how you can overcome that, 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 that hurdle and then move on again. Because he said, no, I have the design and I know what I want to achieve. I would rather change people rather than changing my plan. I would rather change engineer rather than changing my plan. I know it is achievable. Sometimes maybe we can sit back like me. I will sit back and I said, is this something that is far-fetched or is Mr. Ash asking too much of the design or is this something that cannot be achievable? But when you believe in something so much, I always believe that God gives you the desire and the, the eyes to see where you want to go. And that's exactly what happened with Ash.
because he never give up. He always persists in what he wants to achieve because he knows the bigger picture. We are just seeing something tiny. You know, I remember when the second O Connect came out, you know, everyone was celebrating. Even I remember Maddie called and said, oh, Ash, we are here. But our CEO didn't show up. You know, not because he wasn't happy with what you've seen. He said, just wait until you see the second video conferencing. Then you will tell me if I'm really crazy or I'm a madman. So, you know, his, um, what his expectation is really high. You know, when you set the bar, the bar so high, you want to achieve it. You know, and that's exactly what Mr. Ashtopa is doing. For these past three weeks, we can see the happiness, the joy. It means all what he is looking for is coming to fruition, which is really great. Because if you, there's a saying, if you prepare your own food and you can't eat it, there is no way you can give it to your guests. You must be happy with what you have. And that's exactly what we are seeing with Mr. Ash. When he comes out, he is so happy, he's so fired up. And he said, this is where we're supposed to be. This is the place we're supposed to be. Two years ago, we're supposed to hit this. How come these guys are making that map? You know, making the solution so nice where the whole world will see it and say, wow, this is it. But it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of patience, you know. And there are times that just that if you are out, sometimes I know founders, they said, oh, why is it not coming now? Why is it until you are in that particular place in time? Just ask yourself, all of us have jobs different. Nobody can, tell, can say when you go to your place of work, it's not difficult for you. There are times that you come out, there is no solution. Regardless of what you do, there are times you go in, come out, and you say, my God, what is happening with me? My head's just blocked and I can't really achieve it. But the next day you come back, and there is a solution for what you're trying to achieve. So too with the IT industry. You know, these guys are just human. Sometimes they can come and they have a bad day and tomorrow, the, the, the next day, there is a solution for it. But that's how it goes and they build gradually because it's something that is really massive. It is not tiny bit or just a tiny piece of puzzle where you can just take it and throw it out there. Like Bob said, there must be compliance, there must be security. There's a lot of line of code. There is no room for error because little error like this is gone, can blow the whole place. Remember our CEO talks about bringing everything together, you know, the new data and the old data. How do you mesh all of this? Clean up the whole place. Now our CEO is telling us, when we log in, what will happen? You see the button, you log in. Told, told us four things. Log in. Maybe you see your profile because he said they can come in any order. You go in, check your profile, make sure every information there is correct. The moment you see it, you go and check. The next thing, you check my teams. You know, you check it, and if it's okay for you, fine. You know your number of, 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 of customers, which you already have. You can check it. It's okay, fine. You go into your wallet, check it. But we know there are founders who forget about this, and they will be checking something else. Oh, my old mail is not working. Oh my, the old connect is just like, you know, sometimes we just have to listen to our CEO. He said all things, forget about the rest. Don't tell us about the color of the screen. Oh, the color is too dark, it's too blue. No, that is not what you're checking for. You know, you're looking for something specific. You know, when they say go in, click on that button, just click the button, forget about the rest. The rest, they already know about it. So the, like my brother Oliver said, let's follow instruction. Let's just follow the instruction of the CEO because what they are doing is so complex. We don't want to make their work again difficult for them. They, have the, they already have enough to think about. Let us just do exactly what they have asked us to do. And if we cooperate and coordinate you know, with our CEO and the team, everything will go seamlessly. Very, very nice. There will be no headache. But when we try to divert from what they are asking us to do, we are, we are giving them more work to do and they will never listen to us. You know, so, you know, Mino, I just want to thank you, but let's keep in mind it is coming, it is coming, and it's coming very fast. Thank you. Great. Fire, fire, fire at three in the morning even. Thank you. Thank you, Collins.
So um, commitment. Commitment is something that on passive shows to its affiliates. Marty, it's your turn, my dear. Um, you always encourage us in preparation of uh, for the return of on passive. You encourage us to work on our mindset and couple that with gratitude. And the other day, you just broke down what a true leadership features is, like uplifting everybody above your own head. That brings a sense of community to us. Unlike a regular business that you may work for many years for a company, not even know who the CEO was, who the leader was. So if you would speak to that, please. Thank you. I know you don't need introduction and by no means. Absolutely. Thank you for the invitation. And uh, I love everything everybody said. And obviously, we all think alike. So I'm going <laughs> to run off of some of that. Mike was saying, you know, that as is giving us, it's a give It's a, a give both directions. And he's right. I don't live up to what he's done for us. It's just impossible. He doesn't ask a lot of us. Uh, we all have a role. We all matter. I can look at everybody in the screen and say what they contributed so far. But I really believe how far we've all come is only baby steps of where we can all go. I just believe that. And, uh, you know, we, we're looking the comeback, the comeback. I, uh, since I was in my 30s, I guess, I tried to understand or look at the world in general. You know, you have to, I, I learned a lot by traveling around the world. But I was, I was looking the other day, you know, and, we're, and, and this is going to relate to the comeback. Uh, one billion people, we have about eight billion. One billion of those people live on less than one dollar a day. <clears throat> that that's bad enough. Forty-seven percent of the world lives on less less than six dollars and eighty-five cents a day. Okay, and eighty-five percent. Uh. Middle class is $30 a day. There's $454 trillion of currency and different currency. The value of the planet is $455 trillion. Trillion. I don't even know. I can't imagine what that even looks like. The problem is the distribution of wealth. The root cause of poverty, it's, it's, it's in quality in, in income distri distribution, access to productive resources based on social opportunities. Seven in 10 people globally live on $10 a, a, a day. Half of the Half of the wealth in the planet goes to 1% of the people. Now, what I'm saying is to come back, here's what this really means. That will never change. It hasn't changed since the industrial age came. It's not going that direction. Even at the baddest times for 99% of the people, and I'm talking U.S., I can't even imagine in other countries, when the things were the worst, 2008, 2029, most of those times, the rich got richer. They made money off of bad things. It's fact. What Ass is saying is, what happens when I take a large majority of the world and quadruple their income? Does it take a lot of money according to these statistics? What happens? What happens when you do that to a family that their whole life is survival mode, whether they catch a pig and slaughter it and share it with everybody in the village? What happens when you take a community and you put in where you the wealth is shared to them, where they make a $500 
it's going to it's life changing it's absolutely off the chart and the comeback of this company and here's the thing a lot of things we talk about and how we feel and what we see we look like complete maniacs why because nobody can relate to what we're saying it's not relatable and the excitement for, for a lot of us, me, my biggest thing is, it's like I see it, I feel it, I know it, and it drives me insane because I want everybody to at least see what I see. And I don't see it all, but at least see what I say. And I drive that home every single day because I, I, I believe that the, the comeback, like Colin said, I said this, we're going to go back two years. We, we, we lost a couple of years, but did we really? Did we really? We lost time, but I want to tell you, and I've said this before, 40, 40 years to go from Egypt to the promised land and calculated at three mile an hour walk in would take you 11 days. The crap was taken out of the people that didn't belong to be there are gone. Whatever happened overseas with the company, whoever tried to take advantage of our CEO, and he would be a very easy to target. Why? He trusts you 100%. He trusts you more than you trust yourself in some cases. So what happens? They, they try to get over. And then because he's forgiving, he goes even another step. Maybe... He had trust in the wrong people. Obviously, he did. Maybe he had people that weren't qualified to get him to that dream he had, but he never gave up on them. He gave it everything he's got, and then finally, I can't do it. It can't be done. The dream that he had is crystal clear. The vision that he had is 2020 vision. Does you can see it in the last few weeks. You wait and see what, what's behind court, uh, curtain number three. That's how he's talking to all of us. You have no idea. In four years, the world will look different. He didn't say 40 years. He said four years. And I believe just by looking at what I'm seeing and just that, that initial crazy so-called launch we had a year ago, I saw the potential of what could happen. Blew me away. And now I'm looking and hearing, I don't see everything, but when you follow with your heart and you follow with your, your trust, everything is crystal clear. How do you know where we're going? Because I can see it. Why do you believe? because he's a believable person. I believe him as much, if not more than most people in my whole family. Is he gonna quit? No, he never gave himself a way out. Do or die is a pretty strict thing to say. He never said, I hope, I guess, I, 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 I'm gonna try. That's not even in his vocabulary. Like Mike, Mike Ellis said, he doesn't care about money. He doesn't like the idea that 1% own 90% of the wealth. Now what do you do? You set out 1 million Mother Teresas. They got a good size pocketbook, okay? With a good heart. What does that, ha what, what happens from that? Remember, I, I'm telling you, you know, the, a couple of years ago, Chris had that school where they, they lost everything, uh, it broke apart, and because he's got a big heart, he started taking money to try to help them. Oh, there was some crap over it, but, but I don't care, and he doesn't either. Well, what about us, and what about me? I don't care about that. There's a lot going on. He did it. But the impact of that will live on for hundreds of years. Here's why. Those little kids in that school are going to remember that somebody did something extraordinary. It will change the what their projection of their life because of it. And one thing about giving, it's very contagious. Penicillin won't get rid of it. 
nothing. You give to somebody at the time they need it, something that they really need, it's almost a, almost automatic that the time comes they will give also. So imagine the comeback, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I've said this a million times. By accident, it wasn't a, it wasn't on purpose. Amazon created 40, 40,000 millionaires. What happens when you have a company that the only time asks worries about money is how much can he give you and me? Now I want you to picture these companies that you all know about. Go look them up. Net value. An $8 billion company, a $7 billion company, a $5 billion. Whoa, whoa, that's huge. Most companies don't make a billion dollars a year. What happens when the comeback is 50 companies that make a billion dollars or more? Or a hundred billion or a trillion? Some of the in some of the, the, the products that we'll be involved with are off the chart value. I mean off the chart. E e-learning. It's a trillion dollar business. Trillion dollar. Talk to Bob, talk to Mike's brought it up. And just think of all the picture of pinball machine. Everything in on passive bounces from one thing to the other. And it magnifies the greatness of on passive. You hit one person and you give them resources that they never had in their life. That person, in turn, because they live that way, are going to give to somebody else that never had it in their life. That person is going to do the same thing. So not only are you growing big, you're growing big fast. A snowball rolls down the hill. It covers a lot more ground the bigger it gets. At the bottom, it's a big freaking ball. And it might have started in your hand. I'm passive is that way, but he's rolling down hundreds of snowballs. When he talks about changing things that you'll be able to see and hear in four years, guess who's part of that? Don't look behind you. I see some of you looking. It's you. We are a part of that. The comeback is with us. We stuck, we stuck with it. I'm almost embarrassed to say I stuck with it. My big ass would have been here in New Jersey whether I ever saw I'm passive or not. But I'd be in the same thing. The big difference is I wouldn't have any hope for changing my future. The average business online, this is numbers. You like numbers? I'm going to give you numbers. The average business that comes online, 90%, 90 last four months. So now take a four month where you have the possibility to make money. Now add to that, you don't know how to run traffic. Now add to that, if you did happen to learn and build a build something around that, market that, brand that, that's three months. If everything's perfect, the very last week, you're going to be able to say goodbye. And guess what? You get to do it again because everybody's doing that now. We are in a business. I don't have to be told, oh, I think this is great. It sounds great. I believe in that. I'm way past that. The government went after them. And they did it on purpose. They launched it the week before we were going to go sell our first product ever. Guaranteed they're rubbing their hands together and saying, watch what happens to them now. Freaking nothing happened. Whatever happened overseas, wherever, the team over there that, that whoever was involved that ransacked the whole thing and did whatever, they thought they were going to ruin Ash and the company. Who got the last laugh? We're coming back. Where are they going? Some of them are going to have this position. That's how you hold bars when you're in prison, okay? 
It's not a lot of fun, not a whole big life there. But my thing is, who has the last laugh? And you know what that says now? Even though it was hard, I couldn't imagine what his family went through. Couldn't imagine. And like he said the other day, with all this crap, yes, people are dying. People are, I'm, I'm finding out my best friends in here, family members almost like cancer, passed away, something, right? This going on and on and on. He has the same life. Well, he's going to this worst time. His sister loses a son by drowning while his mother's there. He would have never brought it up if he didn't hear it coming from other people. He wanted to let them know, I'm human. It happens to me too. But what does he do all that time? He makes it a point that when he comes in front of us, even if he was flipped over on the grill like a Big Mac, he always comes in with a smile and this upbeat. You're like, oh, it must be great. We didn't know that five minutes before that, he was beat the crap out of him. I'm not kidding. We 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 know now because we're starting to learn who he is. But the character of that man, that's the comeback. It won't be four months. If this tsunami and this flood and this whirlwind of bullcrap didn't stop on passive, we're not stopping. There's only one way this will stop. And you guys know what that is. Thank you, Gina Leva. It, it, the only one way. And guess what? I think God's enjoying on passing. I think Ash was picked to do this because there's only one in a trillion that would. But I'm telling you, the comeback will be great for us. In fact, I'm so far past that. You know, oh, what about this? I don't want to think about money. And very soon, very soon, my thought will not be about money. I won't have to. And the same for you. I don't need anything. Paid. I'm not talking about that. The beauty of it is, I'm telling you, when you have these webinars with people overseas that have to walk five or six miles to get water and then pray over the water that it doesn't kill them when they drink it, can now go outside and turn on a faucet and water comes to them. That's not a lot of technology. That's simple crap. But because all the volumes in 1% of the world, they're never going to get it. I mean, we could say, well, they'll have a good heart and all these big guys with big money just fork the money over and get everybody out of poverty. You know what poverty is? You know what? Robbery and high crime. It's a bunch of young kids that have no hope. They got rotten educations. There's nowhere to go. Mom's working and he's by himself, the young kid, 13, 14 years old, with a bunch of other 13, 14 year old kids. Look at the kids in Africa. They got education, highly educated, some of them. There's no job. There's no way to make them. On passive, it's going to change that. On passive, it's going to change that. I was talking to Bob uh, Jacuzzi the other day about uh, e learning. Imagine a young kid in Bangladesh, India, or, or Africa gets on with a professor who comes from Harvard. And you know the thing about e-learning? E the teacher comes on. I don't care if you pay him $5 a person. He's going to make more money from that than his whole lifetime of being a teacher. And the other beauty of it is, in school, you got 20 or 30 kids. You never get a one-on-one. -on -one. Online, it's one-on-one. -on -one. When that teacher's talking, that student looks up at him and goes, he's talking to me. That's powerful stuff. And then with technology, you're going to see kids that start doodling, and they'll build a little alarm, comes up and say, hey, Bobby, pick your head up. What are you doing? But all these things... It's there, and, and it sounds like, and I believe, forget sounds like, I believe, As has met up with people that can, that finally can deliver what's in his head and heart. His biggest struggle was, you don't know what I want. 
No, that's not good enough. No, that's not good enough. Had to be nerve wracking. Had to be nerve wracking. We know some of the stuff he said. To to come out and they do a they check a product, they have a, a demo. And I said, oh, there's one little thing wrong, not, nothing big. Big set. How much time? Uh, a week. I'll give you two, but make sure it's done. He comes back to us. Can't wait to give us good news. Guess what? Two weeks, we're going to have that. Two weeks later, he looks at the new demo, ready to go. It's worse than what he had two weeks ago. They're not getting blamed because that's he's protecting them just like he's protecting us. So he comes back and, okay, didn't happen. We got a little delay and all. That's not Ash. He gives them more than they needed, paid them more than they deserved, and gave them more help than they needed. In return, he got squat. That's where the bad name came. That's where things bad, where people, oh, we never delivered. That's not who he is. Trust me. The next, next part of our lives and I'm passive will be, tomorrow I'll do this. And we're going to go, holy cow, what is that? That's what he wants. That's what he always wanted. So the comeback, we're coming back to something we can't imagine. We're coming back to what we all dreamt of, really. Even bigger than that. When he said dream bigger, the problem was he needed a team that could live up to the standard of his dream and deliver it. They could not deliver what he felt and what he needed. And the sad thing is, I think at one point they didn't even try. I say I think they saw us as a kind-hearted money bank and let's suck out what we can. I don't know all the de details, but that's what I think. Pisses me off. Oh, the money share the money. But look, right now, I'm telling you. And I have a, if I didn't get any of the money I had in my wallet, this is me personally. And because of what I did before and on past, my wallet's good size, probably bigger than most. I'd give it all up just to know where we're going, just to be able to take the ride from here on out. He won't do that. He'll find a way, no matter how, to get it back, even if they, if it was, even if it was all taken. I know he will. But the point is, come back. It's more than come back. It's we're going where we should have been going. We lost a couple of years. But if you look at it, if this didn't happen, where would we be? We'd be chugging along, dragging people with him that weren't qualified or not even trustworthy, trying to keep us motivated, us trying to keep each other motivated. Boom, boom, boom. And I really believe now, knowing what I see and hear, We'd have never got there. The man I hear now who did get beat up and probably lost hundreds of $100 million, uh, he's got gray hair now, <laughs> uh, everything. But if you look at it, he is really happy. He is hanging around the elite of the world. And guess what? Why would they join us? Look at his track record. We know who he is. Look at his track re record. If you were one of the best in the world, would you join that maniac? No. You know what he did? He told him what the journey was, what he did, and what he wants to do. That sold him. I don't know this for a fact, but I know who he is. I know how he is. So no matter how much money, how powerful you are, how much money you have, what you can do, Trust me, I've talked to a lot of millionaires. I have. And when they have everything, they got all the toys, they got all the different homes and all that. You know what they really want? They want to leave a legacy of some type that meant a difference. And I think as surrounded himself, I don't know, surround himself with dream catchers. And with all of them combined, we're going to get dreams beyond anything we could imagine. So the comeback is going to be something we can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. And I'm telling you, we got to do 2%. He did 98. Might be even less. The one thing we should do is when it happens and it starts happening, bless other people, 
and tell them why. Give them something. You know what you want to give them? Give them an affiliate position. Set up a set up a Zoom, or, I mean, the uh, O Connect, whatever the name of it is. Give them a few things. Pay for it. Here, this is yours. Because you just gave them a boat. You gave them a you gave them fishing poles. You gave them the tackle box. And what happens? Because of who they are. They're going to do the same to one person who's going to do it to three, who's going to do it to 20. And in four years, where will we be? That's how you change it. I'm sure he can explain it much better than me. But that's how I see it. That's why I'm excited. The comeback? Are you kidding? It's going to be a comeback that's epic. Epic. There was a while I said, I want to hear what happened. I want to hear who did what right now. I don't even care. And he's talking less and less about it because the focus he's finally getting to him, what he always wanted, is that dream of changing the world. And his tools to change the world is not on a platform and it's not digital. It's called you. He's going to change the world with you because you're going to want to. He's going to free up your time, quit that job, free up your debt, and let you go out and do what you would do because that's why you're here. We were all brought together by heart because logically this is stupid. Why am I here six years? Because I, I was looking for this all my life. I, I meet myself like a dad could go out and make money tomorrow. And none of you know I was doing it. But I can't get what I'm going to get from on passing. Not my wildest dreams. So that's where we're going. And that's what's up for all of us. So that's the best way I can explain the comeback. I think I'm done. Mike Ellis, ready, set, go. I blend you. I want to go after Mike. You're fired up. Go ahead, please. <laughs> No, I was I was just saying good job, Marty. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, Marty, that was you were on a rant today, Marty. It was very very good. Um, you know, it's it, it's funny, uh, Marty, Dan, and I we we talk all the time, and and those conversations are are privileged. We don't uh, we don't really talk about them to other people, but they're really the the really neat and, and Marty touched on some of it. They're the really neat conversations we have of the magnitude of what Mr. Mufara has done. And, and it, it it truly is bigger than anybody here can imagine. And I, I know when I tell people wealth has to be created, people think in the back of their minds, well, what am I going to create to build wealth for myself and my family? And that's truly one of the one of the the miracles that Mr. Mufar is bringing to the table. Unpassive is going to create wealth that you can't even comprehend. Marty talked about a trillion dollar market. That means we have a market that has an an annual income of of one trillion dollars that Unpassive could earn annually. Now, are we gonna are we gonna take over those markets initially? No. But we're going to take over a big chunk of them. And that's only the start of the market. The market, and I won't get into how big I think it is, but it's much, much bigger than what I just said. Way bigger than that. And if you can wrap your mind around that, all of a sudden you start to under. And again, these are the things Dan and Marty and I, you know, Dan talked about, yeah, we talked the last couple of days. I can't tell you what we talked about because it would just literally blow your mind what we think about. And 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 when I think about it, we're only we only have maybe five percent of what Mr. Mufar is doing. And in our mind, it 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 is so massive, it, it it's just uncomprehendable. But the markets of unpassive are so big and so powerful. And then you think what Mr. Mufara has done. Superior, superior, superior technology. And the tech guys know what I'm talking about. 
when you can do that and then offer it at a fraction of the cost. And I, and there was a good example um, the other day. I, I read some things about Elon Musk and he's coming out with a phone that's hooked up to Starlink, which, which I, I suspect will be kind of an internet thing. I really don't know. The tech guys know more about that than I do. But he came out with a, a very high quality phone and it's $10. It's 10 bucks. Well, most people today, if you buy an Apple or you buy a Samsung or you buy some of the, the nicer phones, they're anywhere from, from $800 to $2,000 a phone. And think about coming out, getting a phone from Elon Musk that is just as good as the phones that are out there for 10 bucks. Well, that's Elon Musk. Ash Mufara is better than that. And the, the quality of the technology that he's bringing out at the price that he's 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 bringing it at at people are just you you can't imagine the number of people that will flock in and it's not a matter of having a market of 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 5 billion people but those are the amount of people that are online right now because each product that ash brings out okay it's it's 5 billion another product is 10 billion and it goes exponentially up and up and up and up and that's why when we talk about markets when we talk about a trillion dollar uh, market that on passive has we're, we're really we're really telling you just the tip of the iceberg it's so much bigger than that so i i love to listen to marty and and dan I, usually when they get on i just listen because they're 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 out in never never land and I, and that's where i love to be never never land and then to watch mr mufar bring it into reality that's really a fun place to be so we're, we're all, we're, we're all, it's such an exciting time right now. Uh, just in a matter of days, it's not going to be weeks and months. It's going to be days, guys. Everything starts to come at us and it's going to come, it's going to start, and it's not even going to start slow. It's going to start and then it's just going to continue to just cascade over us. And that cascading is, is going to be like, it really is going to be like standing out in the rain in Alabama. If you've ever been in Alabama, if you've ever felt the well in, in the, the the rain in Alabama, you go outside and it's like you're taking a shower. And a boy from Colorado going to Alabama and feeling that, it was just awesome. That's on passive. It's taking it, it's taking a shower out in the rain in Alabama. It's just warm as you could get. It's just a great feeling. And that's what Mr. Mufar is bringing to all of us. Minnow, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, thank you, Mike. I start this with a very calm and a slow pulse rate, and now I'm palpitating. After listening to Marty, to you, to Collins, to all of the speakers, and it's just the heart rate goes higher and higher of excitement. Thank you. Jean Oliva, have you ever been so connected at heart with so many people at different walks of life. They talk about on passive coming back, but mostly it was never gone. We only got closer at heart by our webinar and staying plugged in and engaged together. And it took Casey's death to know how close we just have been, Jean. You always encourage us to lock arms Engaging with community and staying active will, will be critical in leveraging our full potential. Why don't you speak to that, if you would, please, and say anything else you want. Thank you, Mike. Wow, wow Minu. Wow. Well, thank you. And thank you to everybody that already spoke. Um, what you just said um, actually just goes right into the way that I look at this comeback, which is a phoenix rising from the ashes in so many ways. You know, we have, uh, you know, a beautiful bird, the on passive, beautiful plumage, all sorts of colors. And then you have the flames of corruption and betrayal and incompetence and everything you can imagine, the forces of darkness burning the wings of this beautiful bird <clears throat> in, 
It's lying in a heap on the ground, you know, held up by our love. And they stand there thinking they had us down. They, they, I'm sure they thought they, they burnt us to a crisp, but slowly the heart of Ash Mufara starts pumping more and more. And that one wing comes up and the next wing and sure, slowly but surely this incredible beast of a bird comes out of those ashes, bigger, better, stronger, more beautiful. And we are a feather on each of those wings. We are, you know, all the different colors of the world, stronger, just magnificent. And I love what Mike said earlier, where he says, you are better than you think you are. And if, if I'm passive does nothing else, it's to make us as human beings realize the God-given magnificence that's in each of us. That is that is really what I think Ash Mufara is trying to do here, is to pull us out of our own ashes and 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 raise us up so that we can be our full magnificent selves and then go out into the world and do what we're here to do. And uh, so when I think of the comeback, it's just that phoenix rising. It's just such a strong image to me. And uh, and and nothing if we if they try and burn us again, we're just going to come back. I don't know if anybody, everybody knows the story of the phoenix, but it it's its whole life is to burn and come back, burn and come back to rebirth. So we are never going to give up. They can try all they want. It's not going to happen. And uh, we have Ash Mufar to thank for that. And what I love about this rollout that he's doing is that in uh, it, true to form with his character, which is loving, um, he's keeping it so simple because he's not trying to lift, you know, all of us on the panel that are totally plugged in and, and all of that. And we all speak English here and all, you know, and we, we kind of know what's going on. No, he's trying to raise all of humanity, starting with one plus million people that don't, uh, that have English, if, if at all, as a second language and are, are maybe not understanding everything that's going on. And he's not forgotten them. He's remembering everyone. So he is going to make sure every one of those steps is as crystal clear and simple as it possibly can be, because that's him. That's his love for us. And it's also showing love for his team. You know, uh, you know, not saying, hey, team, you know, we got a lot of catching up to do. Chop, chop. He's saying, no, let's do this the right way. How much time do you need? OK, let's do that. Let's Let's do it as quickly as we can, but as good and perfect as we can. And so it's just love everywhere you look at it. It's just respect for humankind. It's kindness. It's it's uh, determination and absolute uh, focus and faith to that original vision. And that is, oh my gosh, it just gets me so emotional and fired up and and I hope that when Ash looks at us, he sees his dreams fulfilled because we are we are the, the the fingers, the hands that will be going out into the world and fulfilling um his dream is the, our collective dreams, you know and uh, so for me, I just I just see that oh, that magnificent bird rising and we are that bird. On passive is that bird. And and every iteration that comes out of this, every next phase, everything that is developed that is beyond on passive, it's all part of that. And uh and it's a blessing and a privilege to be a part of it. And um and uh as Minu said, we are we just had no idea how much we loved each other until we've lost people along the way. And it's overwhelming, but it does make us weave together tighter and more, um, you know, more beautifully, if I if that's the right term, so that when we we uh, move forward, we're going to be strong cloth, unbreakable and just flying high. So um, thank you, Minu. That's all I wanted to say. Beautiful, beautiful as ever. Francine, you are in Senegal and you are all also in the crazy time zone. So we appreciate your presence here. 
we would like for you to say a few words on the on passive the big comeback you will have opportunity in uh, in the future to translate each um, each person's talk into french to reach out but if you would just share with us your insight thank you thank you Jean. thank you minu and uh... I feel very humbled to, to be here. And after all the people who have taken the floor, I don't have much to add. Um, I am really uh, touched by uh, all the words that were said. And I would love to come back to uh, what concerns our personality and what we are supposed to bring to unpassive individually, regardless of who we are, where we are coming from. This is something really um, important because uh, from this part of the world, we come to interact with very simple people, uh, who sometimes may lose their confidence. And on passive has opened a door for hope, serious hope. And those people are just to give what they have the best, their hurt. And those people love on passive. Those people love Ash Mufare. So encouraging them as our CEO does whenever he comes to talk is really something important and great. It's really great. Now, when, when we talk about the technical aspect of um, on passive, I don't have much to say about that. But listening to the specialists who are here, the OTEC pros, I really take, um, I am impressed because I realize the machine we are having at hands in order to face poverty, to help us alleviate poverty. I, I don't see how to combine these technical aspects of IT to alleviating poverty. But what I understand, what I understand is that there is a lot to take from there in order to help many people to open their eyes, to open their arms and to give what we have the best, which is our heart, to give love and uh, I, I think talking after all I have heard here will just be too much. I love the spirit I have gathered in this meeting. I love to understand that we are on the right track and we have been praying for that. We have been getting sign that the prayers have been heard the only thing I would ask now is that we keep on very tight to one another with our eyes on the vision we are following, all of us, and remain really united in that vision in order to strengthen it and to make it stronger and stronger. I am confident very soon we'll be having smiles and coming here to say, this is the, the next phase we are going to help this do that because money is no more an issue. This is uh, something we don't need anymore to, to, to talk about. Just we'll be here to reactivate what has been killed because if we listen to the news today, everything is like collapsing and uh, on passive is like uh, Jan just said a few minutes before, on passive is the solution to that. And if we have taken this uh, uh, step back, it's because it is in the plan 
of, I think, let me say God, excuse me to take the name of God here. I think we could not start in a better time than where we are today. If we open our eyes, we open our ears, we open our heart, the world is such is in such bad shape. This is a time for the phoenix. This is a time to rise, and this is a time of unpassive. Thank you. Thank you, Francine. Beautiful. Thank you. We uh, appreciate all of your enthusiasm and effort you put in translating off and on everything you get a chance um, to put it out there for French community. Thank you so much. Naral, Miss Naral, you are one of the strong leaders that always shine the light uh, and you call it diamond within. Um, we want you to put your insight in there for us. Collaboration is key. Working together with, will amplify our impact as on passive takes the world by the storm. So if you would um, say a few words with us. Thank you, Manu. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I know that it's getting on for your night time. And today, for me, it's nearly 1 a, uh, sorry, one p.m. in the afternoon. I'm used to saying a.m. because <laughs> I'm up late every night. Um, but yeah, thank you for uh, having me to or allowing me to come on and speak. Um, thank you to all the other speakers, uh, sometimes for uh, me in particular, and maybe for others, when we get into the technical side of things, it gets a little bit, oh my goodness, you know, we, we're just happy, I suppose, as women in particular too, um, you know, the men go out to work and the women look after everything else and make it happy and pretty and, and look after the kids. That's how I look at it, even though mine have left home. However, I'm just saying that, you know, the technical side of things is really important. Um, what Asha shared, what is coming back, um, one of the things I wrote down is that, um, and a few people have spoken about it, you know, when you stay the course, when you're here, when you're, um, when you've been here for as long as we have, doesn't matter how long that is, you know, to the very last founder, um, it's something I suppose I've never done before in business. But when I thought about it, I thought when I had my florist shop, I went to work every day, spent the money, opened this flower shop, cost me 30000 Um, you know, went to work every day, didn't get paid, you know, hoped that somebody walked through the door because I didn't feel that I had to do marketing at that stage, didn't have the funds for it, that sort of thing. And it's the same for Ash. Ash turns up every day, you know, but only thing is it's, you know, 200000 200,000 times bigger than my little florist shop. But you do what you have to do to be able to create what you need to create or want to create. And that's something of quality, something of, um, you know, ethical. I wrote down three words, trust, loyal, loyalty and integrity. And I think if we had have gone, if we hadn't have gone through this journey, if we didn't find those people who didn't relate to those um, words, to those values, then it would not be where we are. Marty says it all the time, you know, like, and we all know it, you know, things happen in our lives because it wasn't the right timing, it wasn't the right person, as sad as what that is sometimes because at the time we thought it was. However, when we look back, we see, we see what, what was not meant to be. And I think as we get older and the more we tend to look back, and I say never look back, um, and unless you're looking at how far you've come, um, but every time you do look back, you see how far you've changed, how far you've come. You know, the person that you've changed, I've changed immensely. Oh, my gosh, I need to write a book just about how much I've changed since I came to On Passive, you know. So um, those sort of things, I suppose, it's about integrity, it's about loyalty, it's about trust. We trust one another. You know, when, when we come together um, and as we have done in a tight-knit way, when we lose somebody to my Aussie mate, to my Aussie mate, um, Casey, uh, I believe he's being laid to rest today in Thailand, uh, Bangkok. Um, you know, we send your family 
much love um, and and continued prayers. Um, also for his friend Dave Johnson, uh, I want to say thank you for everything you have done, Dave. You have brought together uh, a community where I think at times you didn't realise um, how how much love we have for each other. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm just saying that sometimes we see others and we don't know what's going on in their lives or what's happening. Uh, Dave was there and he supported each and every one of us uh, in our feelings around Casey and what happened and now today the funeral. So please take a moment today to think of Casey's family um, and keep them in your prayers. Um, I have one other thing, <laughs> thanks to Marty, uh, and thanks to a four o'clock going to bed, uh, because, you know, I'm like a dog with a bone. I can't put it down. Marty puts out a challenge. Nobody may have heard it. And he says, build on passive through giving. And then he goes, oh, I really like that. He said, oh, well, maybe somebody should make a video about that. And then he moves right on. Well, my ears hit here. Somebody should make a video about that. But he's right. Build on passive through giving. You know, we all have that heart. We all stayed here because we have the heart, okay? We didn't go anywhere else because nothing else is as good as nothing, nothing out there. I don't care what you try and sell me or tell me, right? There is nothing out there like what we have, and that is that family bond. Now, I'm not a big Bible verse person, but today I'm going to share something because it came to me, and that's what I find a lot lately as these things come to me. Um, it's in Galatians 5.13, and it says, you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. So I want to say thank you all. I love you all. I appreciate every one of you for being there for each other. Um, there was one thing, actually, if you don't mind, Manu. Uh, Mike Ellis says, you are better than you think you are. And that rang for me, and I wrote it down, because there are so many people out there that don't think, think good of themselves. However, just an extension on that is... When we uplift others, we give them the courage and hope to be themselves. Now, yes, I am shining the light with my diamond within, and I'm finding that the people that get sent to me are the ones that are, are fearful, that don't want, oh, I don't want to do this, Narelle, like, but I trust in them. I give them the hope. I tell them that they're worthy of this because their story is important not just for me, but for the world. And one day somebody will come across that video and say, oh, my gosh, I really resonate with that person or I understand where they came from or I had that same experience. So I just want to expand that the reason why we are together is because we lift each other up. If we were just off individually on some, you know, online business, rowdy, 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 whatever, um, I've been in other ones before and I've been in groups, forums where I, I answer questions and things like that. Um, however, you know, I found that the unity here is what counts. The unity of just being together, supporting each other, but please lift up another person because it will change their life. Thank you, Manu. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. Yeah. Thank you, Norella. Thank you. I see that um, Julie Wynn is here, but before we go to Julie, if I may ask Collins, it's crazy hours for you. If you'd like to add anything, we um, are happy to hear that. If you need to kind of sneak out or no, are you telling me no? No, I'm good. I'm good, you know. <laughs> okay. So with that, we go to Julie Wynn. Julie Wen, please, if you speak to the topic, um, that would be amazing. And then after that, we go to other guests. Thank you, Manu. Hello, everyone. Thank you so How much. For having... you are. Oh, I appreciate your kind words, Manu. Thank you. Um, so the topics today has something to do with coming back, correct? Um, for me, I agree with you 100%. Um, it, it, it's 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 not a coming back, but it is coming back because 
Mr. Mufara said, we are back bigger and better, right? But to me, I feel that we are at the time right now where we are experiencing the transition and the transformation. So those two words to me, they are very different. So transition is something that we are making the changes in specific areas in what Ever we are experiencing right now. So I see that Mr. Mufar is making a transition in certain areas within the company, you know, in the past six years that we are experiencing. Basically, it's redefine that scope that he wanted to put it out. When we are making that transition, or when I see this is my perspective, I'm looking at the company right now. When those transitions are happening, I believe that there is an improvement like in, in terms of performance, in terms of processing, in terms of everything without changing the core of the company. So now we're all sitting together and talking about what is the core of our company on passive, right? So the core of it that we all share it here, lifting up humanity, giving the values back to the people, giving people the opportunity for all of us to have a better life, like right, giving us, you know, a chance to learn more, you know, uh, expanding our mind a little bit, and also saving the times because times is so important. We can never go back to time. However, on passive has created something that is automated for us, right? And then the biggest thing for me being here, seeing everyone, we are focusing also on improving that relationships between humanity, right? And improve that efficiency, the things that we do every single day. So that transition for me, I see on passive is so important, but we always building that core. We always keeping that core together. And that's what we are here today is connecting to together. So all that transition to me, it's transforming the entire process and the entire company. And it's affecting it in a better way. Knowing Mr. Ashmul Farah, he's making the transition, transforming the company. We are knowing that he is, in my eyes, perfection, right? He is perfect. He wants to to have everything that coming out to be perfect. And you know, I have spoken to so many people, you know, sometimes it's like two, three times a day. And today I talked to um, one of my um, sister that we connected through on passive and I broke down because I thought, wow, with all that is that he is experienced today in the past, you know, months and years. I can't believe the kind of energy, the kind of intention that he has. It's so strong and no matter what it is, he's still here. He wants to deliver that to us, to humanity. And I literally broke down because I thought, who would do that? I, I haven't met anyone in the world that would do that for us. So this transition and in, uh, tra transition and transformation to me, it's so important because he's still here. He's still here. He's still committed. And not only that, all of us getting together, our relationships getting stronger and bigger and more people are coming in. And it's so amazing how we are, people from different walk of life, coming from different area, different level of knowledge, I guess, you know, different talents. However, how could we all blend it together like this? It's so strong, right? It's so strong. When there is something happen, everybody coming in and no matter what we do, you know, com commit it to each other, you know? And, and it's so, Amazing how we talk to each other every day, not us here, but we do talk to someone that we met in on passive and so many single one of them, especially the people that I spoke to, never veer away from on passive, no matter how hard it is.
They always say, unpassive is my life. No matter how long it takes, no matter the transition and the transformation it takes us, I'm always here. I'm always committed to be here. And that commitment and that intention, I don't think we can find it anywhere in the world. And so for that reason, I've always stay in touch and stay committed and stay with appreciations to Mr. Ash, to the team, to the people that are involved, and to everyone. And especially, Manu, you have stepped up, you've taken this platform, and you just keep going. And no matter what, and I've seen you grew and you grew and you blossom. And, and not only yourself, Manu, so many people in this, so many people that I see on here. And shining the light, heart to heart conversation, diamond within, and so many more. We just get to know more people. And the more we know people, we know there are someone out there just have a simple dream like myself. And my simple dream, simple. I just want to feed someone. I wanted to be able to cook all day if I have to, right? And I wanted to see the smile on that individual, no matter what, no matter where we are. I just want to see that face and that smile and say, thank you. It was good. I'm full. I'm stuffed, you know? And that's what I'm looking forward to do. And that's just my simple dreams. That dreams, it's so satisfying, right? That's very simple. And I said this before. Many of us here, I do too. I just want to be an angel for someone. Show up, make a difference, and continue to check on them, make sure that they are okay. For that reason, I'm so blessed that I get to have this opportunity, and I don't think, thank you, it's enough. Therefore, I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to stop it there. I'm just very appreciative to be part of this global movement. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. You keep getting more beautiful every day. Thank you. Okay. Thank now, you. Speaking of angels, how about we go to Sherry this way? Would you like to share a couple of words with us? Thank you. Thanks, Julie. You did not make me go right after the other angel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for asking me on this platform. <clears throat> and this platform was was it created um actually the on passive ecosystem was created through Mr. Ashmafan's lovely wife and family. And I never knew we we never went anywhere because we're all together here on this earth. I believe the comeback is more or less grabbing another person out there in the world, sharing this with them so that they can have more in their life, so that they can breathe easier. And it's not just about, it, it is about making sure they're fed and home and fresh water and all that, but it also has to deal with up here. A lot of people are going through so much right now, way too much, it's on overload. Um, passive comeback is to help the world to get this unloaded off of them. And it's already started and it's already started. And a lot of people don't realize it. It's on passive. It's us. It started with Ashford Farr and his lovely wife and his family. And it spread throughout to us. And we're going to spread it. And I want everybody to know, I know everybody's going to know I'm going to say this, that you are important. And I'm kind of like Norel. Norel and I think a lot of like, <clears throat> you're important and you matter. And your passion matters. Your dreams matter. You're so important and you matter in this world. I don't, it, even if it's the knack of listening, do you know that's so important right now? We need to listen to each other. You need to be still and just listen. Whether it's five minutes whether it's 
30 seconds. It could even be just 30 seconds. Passion, passion of listening or whatever your passion is. Maybe it's you sing. I don't know. Everybody's passion. Do you know that everybody's passion could drive to somebody else's passion or help them break whatever burials they have in life? And back to the comeback. The comeback, we didn't go anywhere. We're just coming back bigger so we can share with the world to help our world be more loving, more peaceful, and more equal. Ash Mafar said, he wants to leave this world in a way better place, much more better place than it is now, than when he came in it. He will do that. And it's not just him. It's his faith. I believe in the higher powers helping all this. It's not just him, but it's all of us who connect to somebody else, who connect to somebody else, who connect to somebody else, and so on and so forth. So the comeback is to help our world to be more loving and to be conjoined together. We're a diamond. We're gold. We will be put together and it will be so amazing. You're going to have to get your Kleenex boxes. You're going to have to get your palette of Kleenex boxes, people, because it's already happening just here in all of us together here in Ampasso. We've shared love. We've shared bad stories. We've shared uh Things we're struggling with in our families, uh, death, you name it, we've shared it here. And don't you think that somebody else in the in the world, maybe be your neighbor, maybe it be somebody you live with, I don't know, that needs to hear this. So I'm um, passive is to come back to help the world to be more positive, loving, peaceful, and equal. That's all I have. And by the way, I have to want to thank my angel Julie and Terry. Where prayers are for uh, them, of course. And I do want to put a plug in for uh, John White and Bill Musk because they do do the videos every day. And they do help me with my videos as well. Um, so my hat goes off to them or anybody who's done anything. By the way, anybody who's done anything in non-passive, a like, a share, a made a video, you use your, whatever talent you have, a like, a share, and to our tech team and to... Uh, uh, Ash Mafar and his lovely wife and family have taken so much time out. Tyler's hours to work on not just my behalf, but to your behalf and the world's behalf. Who does that? Tyler's the hours to work on all our behalf to make our world a better place. I love you all. Thanks for your Beautiful, beautiful as always, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. So uh, let's see what Myra has to say. And then if um, I may ask you, if you'd like to um, speak, raise your digital hand. Um, Myra, please. Thank you, Minu, and hello, everybody. Well, everybody spoke so beautifully. It's always, I feel always like it's extra what I'm going to say. And sometimes I go off track because everybody has said everything already, right? But, you know, when I think of a comeback, I don't really think much because to me, I never left. He never left. Ompasi has always been there for me in the front, in the back, you know, back office, in the backstage, uh, with the curtains, with the curtains down. I, I, I always felt that I was there. This to me was just a pause, a pause because Mr. Mufara has been walking barefoot in, in an obscure and rocky path, so to speaking, fighting so many difficulties in so much evil, you know? But he has been fighting with so much grace and dignity. And to me, Ompasi never left. The greatest comeback is going to be because we're going to be, you know, touching again our, our back office, our, our, the products, and going back with uh, with all connect. And that's the beautiful thing. But to me, Ompasi has always been here, you know? Um, I just feel sometimes that this is the perfect uh, time to use the slogan to do or die. It, nev it never felt more right. Because now in the greatest comeback, you know, we really feel God is in our side. And, you know, in the history of any business, we never saw anything like that. Somebody with so much strength and, and, and perseverance and, and conviction, conviction to, to reach the destination, you know, like Ash Mufara, you know, so it's just, 
it's just God's work to me. It's like God really is in our side. And this is what I concentrate on, you know, and like I continue to do my my thing with my patience, my little videos and and just entertaining myself and enjoying the moment, enjoying the journey, the journey all the way, because this is what it is. It's my journey. I, I even <laughs> named my, my little uh, channel, my YouTube channel, my modest YouTube channel, you know, my, my life, my journey in on passive, because this is what it is for me. And I'm going to go, you know, how walking in my journey, you know, accepting and living one day at a time and also dreaming, uh, uh, living my dream because really on passive to me, it's, it's my dream come true. This is what I want. I want somebody to, to come with fairness, to treat everybody with respect, with love and, and see everybody, you know, the, it, with the same eyes of, of, of acceptance and love, you know, and what else I want? And on pass is come back. On pass is coming back. The greatest come back. On pass is always been here for me. You know that's what I've been. And one thing though, I'm gonna have a little arrogance with the haters and the nice sayers, you know, because I'm just gonna have the, this attitude of arrogance because it, it is gonna be my sweetest revenge against all evil. And that's all I can say, you know. Even I just mentioned once, you know, it's okay to have a little arrogance sometimes, you know. So with them, I will have my arrogance because they don't defeat us. We are we work together, we support on passive, we support Ash. We're gonna be here from the beginning until the end, and that's why we're here now. So that's my two cents, okay? <laughs> thank you, Leah. Thank you, thank you, beautiful Myra. Thank you so much, and we appreciate your amazing artwork and graphic, and you have a special talent and video making videos by yourself with Avo, with Gladys and Mayan and um, other ladies or guests. So we appreciate you. You're out there. You're thank the you. true leader. Um, thank you for raising your hand. Avo, it's your turn, huh? Can you unmute yourself? And Myra, if you would mute, please. Anyways, thank you very much, Mino, and hello to everyone. Um, now what? What I would like to really see and say is that um, you know, after hearing all our wonderful, wonderful people out here, the technical people, like. My Dan, uh, Marty, and everybody out here, you know, Collins, Oliver, um, Bob, you know, with all these people, what can we say? I feel that um, we can say nothing because they they have said it all for us and they they are still saying all. Um, there are so many of us that speak from the heart and they are the angels. Our angels are who? Ourselves. But portraying them out here, I'm just going to take not more than uh, two to three minutes. It's Narelle, Jean, uh, Sherry, um, Francine, and I don't know if I've missed anyone, but uh, I, I feel... The, uh, oh, the most important person I've missed, Julie, Julie Wynn, who is my sponsor as well. So Julie, hi to you. And um, I would say that they, they literally speak from the heart. And uh, I've learned from all of them 
and from Meenu as well. Because if it wasn't for Meenu, today I don't think anyone would have seen me here. Meenu has done the highlighting and from there, Marty has done it. Thank you, Marty. So, you know, it's because of all these people we are being highlighted, we're shining as diamonds and we can do what Ash has wanted us to do. A real comeback. Those who tried to take us away aren't doing that. Because right now we are shining and shining brighter than any one of them are ever going to be. Because even I would say Myra has been a real shining force for me at least. Because I'm always set with Myra, everybody knows that, um, you know, she has helped me to come forward, to do what I'm doing, to take out. Earlier, I had a lot of negativities, people. I did. But she has helped me to come out of it. And because of that, I'm thankful and grateful to her. And I really appreciate everyone's, uh, you know, your talking. They have done such a great job. What can we say or do to come back on this? I'm sorry, nothing. And the ones who are going to come in later are also going to be very good. I know Key is there. And then, of course, I, I've said Bob and, uh, you know, Mamadou Williams, Dr. Benny. They're all very good. So I have no reason to, you know, go. The, the people out here are all people from the heart who are speaking and who are on you. And these are the people that Ash has always wanted him to support because they are supporting him, because he's, uh, uh, like someone said, he's chosen from God. He's a chosen person. And if he wasn't chosen, none of us would have been here. None, I say. And I say that with a lot of conviction now that he is who he is and he wants us to be also that. So thank you so much, all of you. I would like to say thank you to Mino again and thank you, Mari. Bye-bye. Thank you, Abba. Don't say goodbye yet. Um, he it's your turn, huh? Thank you, Mino. Um, hello, everyone. If you'll allow me, I'm going to uh, parlay this comeback in, with a little incident of what's going on in North Carolina. Um, Mike, you brought up Elon Musk. <clears throat> and I don't know if uh, some of you are aware, uh, communication in Western third of North Carolina is down. Um, families can't communicate. Elon Musk offered and brought his Starlink system to North Carolina. And I think this is some of what Ash is combating himself. Um, Elon is offering humanitarian aid to the state of North Carolina and the powers that be, whoever they are, won't allow him. FEMA will not allow him to implement his Starlink network in North Carolina. If that's not evil, I don't know what is. They're still pulling bodies out of the mud. They've asked for 200 more body bags today. Our government's not, not responding. That's evil. And I can't imagine what Ash has been fighting of this sabotage that went on within people that he trusted. And I think all of us would agree that, you know, we, we tend to trust our government. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case today. Um, the OTEC pros are here, and, and I want to bring up probably the, the smartest computer that we all know, and some of you probably don't know where I'm going with this, 
but the central nervous system within your body and your brain is without a doubt the most delicate, intelligent computer there is. You've got the autotomic nervous system, the parasympathetic, the sympathetic, and the enteric. And I want everybody to try to do something because I think this is this describes ash in a way. I want everybody right now to stop your heart from beating. Stop it. You can't. You don't think about it. You don't have to remind yourself, okay, heart, you got to beat. You don't remind yourself, I got to breathe. Once you start it, it doesn't stop. And I have a feeling that once Ash starts this, it's going to be like your heartbeat. You're not going to be able to stop it. I love you all. That's all I got to say. Narelle, thank you for mentioning um, Casey. Uh, I took that very hard, but um, God rest his soul. Love you all. Night. Julie, good to see you. <laughs> thank you, Keith. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. William DeLorme, it's your turn, dear. William, if you come to your camera and unmute. If you need a little time, we go to Dr. Benny first. Dr. Benny, please. Hello, Manu. I'm oh, here. okay, there you are. I put on my camera. Yeah, I just wanted to say a few words how grateful I am. Uh, I'm more than excited. I'm getting really bold. When I go into the peril bus to go to uh, places that I want to go and shopping, and I see people with no arms, no legs, that's how grateful I am. Because it could have happened to me. <clears throat> and we see all this devastation. The world is really needing people like us. And my steps are really getting bold. I'm going out walking every day. And with my therapy, my walking is really improving. I'm going to be walking and not faint. Then I can run and not go weird. Do you see my spots are in Georgia, <clears throat> me and him doing business together. How wonderful that it's okay, it's okay. You keep crying. Crying is good. Crying is healthy. You're in the right zone. You're in the family. Okay, my dear. We go to Dr. Benny, please. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Miller, for giving me this opportunity. Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to my brothers and sisters around the globe. I want to take this special moment to thank our Heavenly Father for bringing each and every one here. Seriously, I really want to thank him, despite the fact that uh, we have uh, lost some of our brothers and sisters uh, within this company. But I just want to say may their soul rest in perfect peace, especially our brother Casey. Reason I call his name is because he always smiles with me, you know. I mean, with everybody. I want to thank God also for sending an important individual to um to you and I, and his name is Mr. Ash Mufare. I just pray that I pray that all of us um we can just uh, create some time and to pray for him for his good health to make sure that uh, 
We just want him to be happy uh, because of his dis- determination, knowing that on passive is coming back. Despite the fact that I know it did not go anywhere, why did I say it didn't go? Uh, it's because we we have been attending meetings upon meetings, webinars upon webinars. Uh, before I proceed, I just want to thank those who spoke before me. Um, I appreciate you guys. Uh, the knowledge that you all have within this company is overwhelming. Thank you so much. I, Like I said, with this coming back, it is very important to everybody. It's making our brand ambassador, or should I say affiliate, uh, for them to be excited. You know, uh, to me, you guys notice that I smile all the time. I am excited because there is no other company like on passive. The type of things that our CEO has done, no other CEO can do such a thing because of the love of humanity that he has for us. The reason why this company has come back is because, like I said, it didn't go anywhere. The company is really, I don't know about you guys, I just know that this company is owned by our Heavenly Father. Um, he gave it to Mr. Ash Mufari because Mr. Ash accepted his calling and he made that statement that either I do or I die. He is here to correct corruption, eradicate poverty, and to uplift humanity. So what I know coming back with this company is to evaluate the business is to reassess the target market that will be coming soon, to analyze your market demand, to review the brand names, and to create the goals that will be happening pretty soon. Design a strategic plan that is going to be happening to implement this strategy, to collaborate, right, with each other, to measure the outcome, as we all know, Everything is going to work out. You guys do understand uh, what uh, Bob Rob said about, uh, no, I think it wasn't Bob, uh, Oliver, that uh, he talks about an uh, insider threat. As we all know, an insider threat, it is a person who has had an authorized access to a company or any organization, resources, including what? personal, the facility, the information equipped with the network, right? With this, the challenges that our, our CEO has undergone, guess what? He is very happy. He is determined. God has given him that strength. And because of the love that he has for all of us, God will do whatever it takes to make him happy, for you and I also to be happy. Everything is coming back. We will go back to our ecosystem. Guess what? A lot of our brand ambassadors or affiliates, they have been complaining about, oh, ecosystem, ecosystem. Now, you guys, on passive has come back. You guys will go back now and start logging into that ecosystem. And I know you'll be happy. Thank you so much, Miss Mila for giving me this amazing opportunity. Thank you so much, Dr. Benny. All right, we have a last raise of hand. We have uh, Momodu to share with us your thought. And then we go to Chris Johnson to wrap it up. Momodu, please. Yes, Miss Mino. Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my beloved family. Uh, Miss Minu, thank you for coming back, for coming back of our great company. Um, listening to all my previous speakers who have spoken eloquently about our company on passing. 
I don't have much to say again. I just want to thank them very much, you know, for giving us everything that we need to know about Ompasi. And I just want to say we are blessed. We are really blessed to be in a company called Ompasi, a company that is here to uplift humanity, a company that is here to make sure my life, my family's life, my communities, my country are transformed. A company that is here to do everything you can think of for me. You know, it's given me a total business that I never dream of. Oh my goodness. The company that will do everything for me, giving me a business and telling me, oh, this is the type of business that you are doing. And not only that, they make sure, they provide for me the product that I am going to sell in my business. And guess what? They will turn around again and sell this product on my behalf. That's, I don't have to do nothing. The only thing this company wanted me to do is just to give a 2% of my time. You know, the time that they require for me is just to know how this business is going. That's why I said I am blessed. And I believe you and I and everybody who will be in this business is going to be blessed. You know, please, I'm, I just want to appeal. Give yourself the time you need just to know your business. Imagine some of us are employees. I always um, echo that. Some of us are employees. We work two for seven. And the work that we are doing, we do doing it for somebody's business. We're promoting somebody. Why can't you take this opportunity to give yourself 10, 15, 20 minutes for your own business? just to know how it is going. Because the company, the business we have, imagine the 8 point something billion people in the world that are going to flog into our business. If you don't know how this business is going, imagine the changes that we all will be having your friends, your family members will be asking you, hey, Jalo, what is going on? I'm seeing you driving. I used to see you driving a Toyota Corolla. Now you are driving this car. What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Please take your time. Give yourself 10, 15, 20 minutes. As for me, October 26 will make me four years in this noble business. And the only thing I have to do is to know my business. That's why since I became a founding member of this business, I have given my time for myself because I know I give 98% of my time to somebody else's business. So I reserve the 2%. For myself. So please do the same. And that and your life will be changed. That's the only thing I'm, I'm appealing to everybody. Please give time for yourself. We've given enough to somebody's business. Give yourself 2% of your life, please. Thank you very much, Miss Mino. Thank you, Maudie. Thank you. Always positive. Always well, to ask. Thank you.
Mr. Johnson, it's going to be almost three hours, not quite. So we're going to let you wrap it up, buddy. Dr. Love. Well, I don't know who. Made, <laughs> I don't know who made that decision to wrap it up. Uh, I apologize. I am very late. Um, busy day for me. Busy tooth and busy Tylenol. Uh, kind of knocked me off my feet a little bit, but that's okay. Um. You know, I got to catch a few of a few of you talk, and I will watch the recording. Uh, you know, I I can honestly say I got nothing because I know I have everything. Um, watching some of the posts that are being put out, the videos, uh, I know Norelli's been and smashing it. Uh, Miss Myra is smashing it. I love it. I didn't know Whitney Houston was showing up. Oh, that's Doctor Benny. Sorry, Doctor Benny. You look really amazing. Uh, I just seen a guy on here from Alaska. I haven't seen in a while. I love that. It's nice to see Ava Diaz on here. No, she's not talking to me on the phone. Hi, Ava. Hey, tell him I said hi. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited. I think you all you you all sound excited, but I see don't see the smiles like I normally do. I don't know if you're in shock and awe. Uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. There really is not a lot to smile about in this world, but unpassive. So that gives me a, you know, it gives me hope. Uh, it gives me a celebration that the faith that we all have had uh, for unpassive through Ashima Farah is pretty damn strong. Excuse my French, but it's pretty damn strong. Uh, we still have the, I call the 100 percenters who come on these webinars every day, who show up on lives, no matter whose they are. They always show up. Why? Because they have the faith that this company is going to completely change their lives. Um, you've heard a lot of us say it. It already has changed my life. Uh, and I'll say it again. It's brought me closer to God. Um, and a lot of people say, can you explain that? Yeah. Yeah, I always talk to God, but not this much. Always believed in God. Always believed in God. Uh, it brought me closer to him because I believe he put me somewhere where I know I'm going to be able to help a lot of people. And that was really what, what I think uh, God, Jesus' plan was to bring people down, bring us together. What did he say? Jews and Gentiles. He wasn't looking for perfect people. Uh, he ran into a bunch of sinners. That's what he, he was the doctor. He wanted people to come to him uh, because he wanted to heal them, and he didn't care who you were. You know that that's pretty cool if you think about it. I don't. I don't even care if you don't believe in it. It's one heck of a story, even if you don't believe in it. It's it's been uh, hanging around for over two thousand years. All right, a pastor's been here for five years. And yet the story has not begun. We have a journey, but the story has not begun yet. And I, for one, can't wait to be part of this story, to be in the first chapter, the last chapter, the middle, knowing that this, this dude here and all you cats and, and, and ladies out there were part of something that none of us really shouldn't be here. One guy said, come on. Think about it. Who are we? Without a passive, my name is Chris Johnson. I am a retired auto worker and a good friend and a good father and a good family member. I'll give myself that. But without a passive, nope. And there's a few people that know all of our names. That's going to change. Um, 20 years from now, this picture will be somewhere saying these were the founders of a passive. These are the believe the people that believed uh, in what this gentleman Ashmafar was saying. Uh, these are the people that had faith enough to believe in something when at that time there was nothing to believe in but God. So I pray for the world right now. I support life uh, no matter where you are. I don't support hate. I don't support negative. But in passive took all the negative out of my life. And I come across a few things once in a while that I got to 
bite down on the tooth. That's probably why my tooth went bad. So you got to bite. You got to bite down once in a while. Um, I'll use that thing. Sometimes you got to turn the other cheek. Um, that's not easy to do. I don't care who you are. Um, I'm going to say Jean would, <laughs> Jean would be the only one who really says, I'm turning my other cheek because she's so positive. And I love that about her. <laughs> but, you know, there's there's ways that you can punch back, but you can do it positive. Um, I believe, and I'll say it, Gene don't like me saying this word, I believe in killing people with kindness. Um, do I get angry? Yeah, I get angry. But I, I look at it as I really have no reason to be angry. No matter what goes on in my life, good or bad, I don't have any reason to be angry. There's no reason at all to be angry. When I came to a passive, it, it, it took me a while, but I found that out because I talked to thousands and thousands of people all over the world who maybe had a right to be angry of their situation or what's going on in their part of the country. And I pray every single day for those people. Yep, Casey Zevenberg, you definitely, Zevenberg, and you'll definitely be missed. Um, part of life again. He's somewhere probably looking down and he's probably laughing at me, calling me all kind of funny names because that's what he did every day. And that's pretty cool. So, but I'm I'm a proud human being to be part of something with all of you that's going to be so big. And uh, again, the story is just about ready to get started and it'll be written and, and it won't be forgotten. It'll be shared everywhere. And people from all over the world will know the company name, your names, and what we're about to do. They're not going to listen. We've been talking about this for a long time and I'm almost done. Mino. I apologize. I know you guys are tired. We've been talking me four years, some of you five years, some of you six years, some of you two years. I don't ever have to say I told you so. Like mom and do was saying, when they see me driving my car, you gave them an opportunity, mom and do. When they see you driving their car, they're going to say, man, maybe I should have. And they still can. Uh, I'm never going to say I told you so, but I'm going to say I brought it up to your attention. I wish you would have kind of jumped in into it then, but you still can. I don't want to show arrogance, even though I liked what Myra said. Yep, Eric, I like I like when people talk about arrogance because everyone's got a little bit of arrogance in them. Um, I wouldn't say I'm arrogant about a past, but I'm damn proud of it. I really am. And I'm proud of all you for doing this on a daily basis. And uh, it, it, it's not always easy talking every single day about unpassive and then i thought yeah it is it is easy it is easy talking about unpassive because i have all your stories i can relate to because i like relating to real stories but our indian family is now waking up i see okay let's <laughs> that's okay Sorry. i mean that's okay never apologize listen uh people from all over the world just want to get onto these webinars Sometimes they don't know their mic's on, their camera's on. They say anything. I don't think it's out of uh, rudeness. or They just came on because they're excited too. So I want to thank you all. I want to ask for prayer continually in your life for good things. I don't care what's going on in your life, whether it's death, sickness, monetary. Keep praying. God is a really good friend. He tells us no once in a while, but man, if I didn't have him, I really wouldn't have anybody. I love y'all. You know, thank you for making me go last. I don't know why, but uh, have a, I'll see you guys in the weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you, <laughs> thank you Chris. Marty, do you need to say anything? Uh, thank you so much, Marty, for all of your support. Everybody here, Minu is nobody without you. So, Marty made a beautiful logo for our Friday, and the name is Ominu. So kudos to you. Thank you so much for everybody's support. If nobody has anything else to say, we're going to say good night. Good night, John Boy. Love you all. Love you all. Thank you. Night, Thank everyone. You. Have a blessed night. Good night, everyone. 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 Good night,